She seems like she'd be very coachable. She's very coachable, loves to have fun. Ooh, good crossover move there. And there's there's another one of those offensive rebounds, Sherry, that you keep talking mm -hmm. about. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow, looky there. And I'll tell you, that's why Reese Webb is such a threat. Reese She's Webb an inside threat and an outside threat. Absolutely. Not, and, you know, I've even seen her bring the ball down the court. Yes. She's a triple threat there. And there's another term that you don't hear often is a triple, triple threat. threat. I'm, <laughs> a I'm aging myself here. <laughs> Looks like Coach London is uh, getting a lot of minutes. Kenzie Snell checking in. Oh, that'd have been sweet. And if that would have with fallen. that half court heat. Well, after the first quarter, Sherry, it's uh, the Lady Tigers 22. And the Lady Bethany Broncos 9. So I put on Twitter earlier that uh, you know coach French as I know wasn't uh, wasn't able to come here and, uh, he's at the uh, swim swim meet so I said hey I put on Twitter you know letting people know that uh, Miss Godwin and I are going to be calling the game and so our first shout out goes out to Andrea Cyphers Miss Cyphers she is a principal here at Fort Gibson. Uh, that's about all I'm going to say about Miss Cyphers. <laughs> no, she's uh, she's um, and her husband, uh, assistant principal there at Tahlequah, uh, good friends of mine, and and uh, she's originally from Salisaw, so. We won't hold that against her. Yeah, we won't hold any. <laughs> we, we don't hold anyone against uh, us that's uh, from Sequoia County. <laughs> well, it looks like our Lady Tigers are uh, cruising right now. Have control of the game. Starting the second period. On the court is uh, Two Shields, Gann, Snell, Porterfield, and uh, Reese. Reese Webb on the court for the Lady Broncos. I'm just going to say it's number 34. Margarita Lopez Rojas. This is a fun name to say. Wow, Sherry, look at that uh, pressure D. They're just... They never let up. They do not let up. Wow, look at that deep three. There's oh, another, another offensive, offensive re rebound. Big time. They must practice that. <laughs> they have to. Oh. I love the movement. Love the movement by the Lady Tigers. We know as quickly they're moving it, I don't think it's, it's satisfying Coach London. He wants it even quicker. Yep. Looks like the Lady Broncos are in uh, man. Trying to play man. Oh, look at that. What a nice oh, pass. Sweet feed. Yeah. Sweet feed. Jordan Gann with the two. You can give it you give it in there to Jordan Gann and you can pretty much guess there's an automatic two. It is. Going to a scores table right now is London and Fouch, Whiteley, and Shield Knight. Oh, she got back quick. She got back real quick. Checking in. Shield Knight. Fouch, London. And Whiteley. And Shield Knight. And Shield Knight. Reese Webb staying in. I guess the starters are back in. Oh, offensive rebound. There's another offensive rebound. Oh, it's going the other I way. Think that's our word for tonight. Offensive rebound. <laughs> First foul on Lindsey Fouch. I love how they have uh, Lindsay up at the front. That length just gives everybody trouble. Oh, that would intimidate you to, to no end, I would think. Trying to get around those long arms. Oh, man. Coming out is number 34, Margarita Lopez Roja. I'll tell you something you don't see anymore these days. Used to everyone had matching shoes. Wonder why they don't these days. 
You know, that's a great question. I had a, uh, many, many years ago, many moons ago now, I used to coach, and I, you know, we used to uh, pay for that, and uh, now it's just become kind of a nuisance thing, and mm -hmm. I think with uh, the way the culture is changing, you know, the NBA, you know, everyone has their own shoe now. Individuality. Individuality. Mm, that's a good three-point shot by... Yeah, that's... Uh, Lawrence Scalisi, she's a 5'9 junior. But speaking of speaking about shoes, Sherry, I'll tell you another thing that bugs me, especially in the NBA, is now they're now they're wearing shoes that don't even match the uniform. I know. What's that about? Yeah. That's oh. a good three-point shot by Jenna Whiteley. You can't leave her alone. You, yeah, you can't give uh, you can't give these girls space or they're going to drain those threes. It's mm -hmm. 27 to 12 with five minutes and 30 seconds left in the second quarter. I'll tell you, t speaking about girls basketball here at Fort Gibson, it's such a legacy. It is. And we have a uh, streak going for, you know, consecutive trips to state. Oh, There's a three by shot by Lindsay. And a quick timeout by the Lady Broncos. Uh, we're going to go ahead and send to a commercial uh, during this timeout. This broadcast is brought to you by Cornerstone Funeral Home and Crematory, Keith's Hardware and Supply, Renfro Electric, First Star Bank, and Court Gibson Education Foundation. Cornerstone Funeral Home and Crematory wish to personally invite you and your family to come tour the newest funeral home at the only crematory in Muskogee. Cornerstone welcomes the opportunity to answer any questions regarding planning and pre-arrangements for you and your loved ones. At Cornerstone, you'll find a helpful professional staff and beautiful surroundings. Come experience the difference at Cornerstone Funeral Home, 1830 North York, Muskogee, where you will find faces you know and reputations you trust. And we're back. Well, we do have a couple. Uh, former student Hayden Hackworth. Now, oh, Hayden, assistant yeah, coach at an Holbert. Assistant, assistant coach at Holbert. Now, I never had Hayden. Had his sister. and You talk about a great family, great kids. I'll tell you, he and Jordan Hill are doing a great job with uh, Holbert basketball, Holbert boys basketball. Yeah, there's a uh, celebrity here from Holbert. What? Me? <laughs> <laughs> most, most people don't know the legacy <laughs> that Sherry left over at Holbert. We know my jersey's hanging from the rafters. It, and ladies and gentlemen, that's no joke. It really is. <laughs> I was trying to see if uh, anyone would call us on that, Sherry. <laughs> So, like I said, her free throw percentage is pretty high. Once again, she oh. capitalizes on that. She does. Checking check in, in is Cody Ponchel, a senior, 5'8 senior, for the Bethany Broncos. You know, one thing about the Shield Knight family is this. Uh, I coach softball, and uh, I usually, we usually start in July. And, uh, you know, sometimes when it rains or we're working out here in the mornings, uh, we get in here, and just about every single year that I've been coaching and coming here in the mornings, you see a shield night in here in the gym shooting. Really? Oh, yeah. Every morning working out. Their mom, uh, they have a younger brother coming up. So they're gym rats. They are absolute gym rats. We well, you know that's what it takes to be good. It does. And it obviously shows. It does show. You know, uh, talking about Kenzie London and her sister, you know, just graduated Bailey last year. Uh, back in uh, mine and Coach London's uh, better days of working out, we'd be out here working out in the late evenings, and both girls would be down here shooting threes, you know, and there'd always be other girls coming in to join them. So, you know, that hard work is paying off. Well, and even the Glover girls. The Glover girls were another one. <laughs> of course, there's a lot. So once again, just the legacy. Kenzie London bringing the ball up the court. 
good look by Reese Webb. Oh, that's a, a jump ball. Goes to Bethany Broncos. Lady Tigers still applying that pressure. Jordan, Jordan Gann and Feather Two Shields checking yep. back in. At the scores table, waiting to check back in. Oh, oh wow. good defense. Another good little defense. Good push up the court. Oh, sweet move look by Reese that. Webb. That looked like something out of the NBA. That's what we call the Euro step. The Euro step? The Euro step. I've heard beautiful. that term. <laughs> Real popular in the NBA. Fouch and Webb getting a quick little breather. With three minutes and 30 seconds left, the Lady Tigers lead 39 to 12. I wonder where Coach Walker is tonight, scouting somewhere? You know, I'm not sure. I was I was thinking the thing, I was, you know, wondering the same thing. Could be. Well, there's no nobody better right now than uh, Coach Walker to be scouting somebody, huh? That's true. <laughs> That's true. He knows a thing or two about state championships. Talk about our legacy. He's the godfather. <laughs> Abby Porterfield going oh, to the score sweet table. sweet defense by Gracie Shield Knight. Oh. Hmm. Checking in, Porterfield. Snell, you know, Snell coming off the bench. I'll tell you what I like to see in our girls. They are so unselfish, almost to a fault at times, you know. Yes. I think that's what it takes in this game is it's not having a lot of selfish play. True. The team game. Number 20, Jesse James, coming to the scores table for the Lady Broncos, along with Brian Brock. Oh, no. Oh. She got in that passing lane. I she got in that passing lane and took a little too many steps there. Kenzie Snell running that point. Over to Shield Knight. So it's already a 30 point deficit. I bet more of our bench will get some playing time second half. Yeah, now, now we're just uh, hoping to not stop that clock and just let it go. Yeah. Oh, nice drive. That was a nice drive. I'll tell you another thing, Jordan Gann. Did you see that screen she set? Yeah. Wow, what a block. Yeah, and that's, that's another thing, Sherry. That's that's what you talk about being unselfish. You know, when uh, girls are setting screens, not just girls, but just anybody setting screens for one another. To free and open up someone else. Yeah. You know, my coach used to say, uh, back in the golden era. <laughs> <laughs> but my coach used to you say, you remember that far yeah. back? <laughs> well, I had to, I had to look in the encyclopedia Reach to remember. Reach the archives. <laughs> it's called a Rolodex. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, he used to say, you know, if you hustle, you're going to get the ball back. That's true. You know? That's true. And so, man, I'd always, I'd always give it up and run as fast as I could, which wasn't very fast, so. But he was, he was always right, you know. You hustle and you get the ball back. That's true. My coach would say if you're off, shoot till you're on, then you miss them and he'd sit you on the bench. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably why I set the bench a lot then. Because <laughs> I never stopped shooting and I never made any. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a sweet three from Lawrence Delisi. Yeah. Makes it 17 for the Lady Broncos. Checking in, Reese Webb. I mean, Sherry, you look at this, and it's just like you see girls checking in, checking out, and you're like, holy smokes. I mean, this this depth just keeps on getting it deeper does. and deeper. It does. 
every year Fort Gibson doesn't rebuild. They just reload. They do reload. And we have you know, we have girls that haven't uh, seen the floor yet that, like you said, could easily be a six, seven, eighth player or even possibly start. You yeah, know. Yeah. And with uh, the way this year is going in COVID, you know anything can happen. You know, can't be surprised about yeah. anything. And we don't know. Maybe Bethany Broncos has a, you know one of their star players homesick from COVID. Yep. I wish I had a dollar for every time someone said COVID. <laughs> you know, I listened to a sports animal driving in, and uh, they were talking about the most Googled words, or the most used words or Googled words on the Internet this year, and uh, COVID was one of them. Oh, I'm sure. Or 2020. Uh, COVID was one of them. Uh, oh, what's it, oh, look at that. Reese comes up nice with the easy three. Making Sweet. it at the half, 46, Bethany, 17. And we're signing off for the half. Yeah, we're going to sign off for the half, and uh, we're going to pay the bills. Stick around for the second half. All right. This broadcast is brought to you by Cornerstone Funeral Home and Crematory, Heats, Hardware and Supply, Renfro Electric, First Star Bank, and Fort Gibson Education Foundation. Keith Hardware and Supply has been located in Fort Gibson, Oklahoma since 1957. We strive to find solutions to your fix and offer a multitude of quality products and services such as steel chainsaws, Yeti coolers, Cub Cadet mowers, case knives, and big green egg grills. In early 2015, Keith Hardware remodeled and added hundreds of new items to better serve their customers. At Keith Hardware, we are proud supporters of all Fort Gibson school events. Go Tigers! Cornerstone Funeral Home and Crematory wish to personally invite you and your family to come tour the newest funeral home and the only crematory in Muskogee. Cornerstone welcomes the opportunity to answer any questions regarding planning and pre-arrangements for you and your loved ones. At Cornerstone, you'll find a helpful professional staff and beautiful surroundings. Come experience the difference at Cornerstone Funeral Home, 1830 North York, Muskogee, where you will find faces you know and reputations you trust. Fort Gibson Education Foundation's desire is to help our students receive the best possible education our community can provide. We make every effort to be the highest quality educational system in the state. Donations equal opportunities, opportunities for students and teachers to be their best. An opportunity to build, design, and compete. An opportunity to create, design, and share. An opportunity to encourage, develop, and provide. An opportunity to travel, process, and gain real-world knowledge. An opportunity to honor, celebrate, and inspire. When you donate to our Fort Gibson Education Foundation, 100% of what you donate goes back into our classrooms for students and teachers so we can give them as many opportunities as possible. We are your Fort Gibson Education Foundation. Go see Scott Abbott, your local Farm Bureau agent. Proudly supporting and serving Green Country for 27 years. Call Scott Abbott at 918-682-2091 in Muskogee for your annual insurance review. Scott Abbott, your agent for life. Renfro Electric has been in business for over 35 years and is a full-service electrical contractor for all of Oklahoma. We are able to serve our customers with superior craftsmanship and top-notch service. With over 40 employees and a bonding capacity in excess of $6 million, we can handle those larger jobs but are still small enough to provide the personal service our customers have come to expect. For any electrical needs, give us a call at 918-687-7535. I got all these VHS tapes, just don't know what to do. I'm bringing them to the high school, the way will take care of you. Ten dollars, ten dollars, ten dollars is all you need to get your VHS tapes on DVD. All proceeds go to Tiger Vision to get new cameras and equipment. Ten dollars, ten dollars, ten dollars all you need to get your VHS tapes on DVD. Other formats available. <laughs>
Keith Hardware and Supply has been located in Fort Gibson, Oklahoma since 1957. We strive to find solutions to your fix and offer a multitude of quality products and services such as steel chainsaws, Yeti coolers, Cub Cadet mowers, case knives, and big green egg grills. In early 2015, Keith Hardware remodeled and added hundreds of new items to better serve their customers. At Keith Hardware, we are proud supporters of all Fort Gibson School events. Go Tigers! This broadcast is brought to you by Cornerstone Funeral Home and Crematory, Keith's Hardware and Supply, Renfro Electric, First Star Bank, and Fort Gibson Education Foundation. Keith Hardware and Supply has been located in Fort Gibson, Oklahoma since 1957. We strive to find solutions to your fix and offer a multitude of quality products and services such as steel chainsaws, Yeti coolers, Cub Cadet mowers, case knives, and big green egg grills. In early 2015, Keith Hardware remodeled and added hundreds of new items to better serve their customers. At Keith Hardware, we are proud supporters of all Fort Gibson School events. Go Tigers! Cornerstone Funeral Home and Crematory wish to personally invite you and your family to come tour the newest funeral home and the only crematory in Muskogee. Cornerstone welcomes the opportunity to answer any questions regarding planning and pre-arrangements for you and your loved ones. At Cornerstone, you'll find a helpful professional staff and beautiful surroundings. Come experience the difference at Cornerstone Funeral Home, 1830 North York, Muskogee, where you will find faces you know and reputations you trust. Fort Gibson Education Foundation's desire is to help our students receive the best possible education our community can provide. We make every effort to be the highest quality educational system in the state. Donations equal opportunities, opportunities for students and teachers to be their best. An opportunity to build, design, and compete. An opportunity to create, design, and share. An opportunity to encourage, develop, and provide. An opportunity to travel, process, and gain real-world knowledge. An opportunity to honor, celebrate, and inspire. When you donate to our Fort Gibson Education Foundation, 100% of what you donate goes back into our classrooms for students and teachers so we can give them as many opportunities as possible. We are your Fort Gibson Education Foundation. Go see Scott Abbott, your local Farm Bureau agent. Proudly supporting and serving Green Country for 27 years. Call Scott Abbott at 918-682-2091 in Muskogee for your annual insurance review. Scott Abbott, your agent for life. Renfro Electric has been in business for over 35 years and is a full-service electrical contractor for all of Oklahoma. We are able to serve our customers with superior craftsmanship and top-notch service. With over 40 employees and a bonding capacity in excess of $6 million, we can handle those larger jobs but are still small enough to provide the personal service our customers have come to expect. For any electrical needs, give us a call at 918-687-7535. I got all these VHS tapes, just don't know what to do. I'm bringing them to the high school, the one will take care of you. Ten dollars, ten dollars, ten dollars all you need to get your VHS tapes on DVD. All proceeds go to Tiger Vision to get new cameras and equipment. Ten dollars, ten dollars, ten dollars all you need to get your VHS tapes on DVD. Other formats available. <laughs>
All right. Welcome back, Lady Tiger fans. In the conclusion of this game, we're going to have a short, since we only have two senior boys and they didn't get to have their senior night, we're going to have a uh, short little senior night ceremony. And then uh, after that, it'll be the boys' uh, basketball game. So now we are going from uh, from your screen. Bethany is going. Uh, they'll be going uh, right to left, and Lady Tigers will be going left to right on your screen. And Bethany has control of the ball. Look, we started out with a little bit of a press trap, anyway. Yeah. Got a quick turnover. You know, University of Texas. They have a new uh, football coach, Steve Sarkeesian, and his big recruiting tool or his big recruiting saying right now for University of Texas is all gas, no breaks. And that sounds, I mean, that looks like what uh, Fort Gibson is doing. They have their foot on the pedal. Well, that seems to be successful for them. Don't need to stop. You know, you There's another little turnover. You said you used, you, you coached. What, what do you think uh, the Bethany Broncos coach said to his players at halftime? You know, if, if I'm, uh, if I have the Lady Broncos in, uh, First of all, you know, you gotta you gotta keep their spirits up. You know, obviously they're deflated. But I think you still work on the little things. You know, you still work on doing the little things that you practice. Because, you know, your season's not over. You're just uh, thrown into a loser's bracket and you have a longer road ahead of you. So you still work on the little things. You still uh, give effort. You know, I always tell my girls, you know, the only things you can control are your attitude, energy, and effort. And I think that's what you tell them at that's, this point. That's good advice. Oh, sweet feet inside. Nice feet inside. Nice. Man, that's threading a needle right there. I'd like to give a quick shout out to uh, Blair Gibson. Blair graduated here last year. He was one of those 2020 seniors that didn't really get to finish their senior year out. and He just messaged me and said he was listening. Moved down to Texas. And if you're thinking Gibson, that's a real popular name around here. That's right. That's Jerry Gibson's grandson. Jerry Gibson. Yeah. Uh, the uh, IE Fieldhouse is, uh, has her name on it. Yeah. Yeah, great family. Faithful member of our, our board and the board president for, gosh, yeah. many, many, many years. And, heck, uh, his sister was an intern for you. Yes, she was. Yeah. Ma yeah. Michaela. Michaela, yeah. So, quick shout-out to the Gibson family. Six minutes left. Okay, I'd like to thank some of our sponsors. Um uh, Cornerstone Funeral, Funeral Home and Crematory, Keys Hardware and Supply, Renfro Electric, First Star Bank, and Fort Gibson Education Association. Thank you for your support. Yeah, that, uh, that support from uh, Fort Gibson Education just goes, I think, you know, we don't get to see a lot of it because it goes into the classroom. And, and uh, man, just that's such a blessing uh, to have that support from our Education Foundation. You know, speaking of legacy, we were talking about a legacy earlier. Um, well, we have one in uh, Kim Imhoff. Oh, golly. You know, the she queen. The queen. She was our senior English teacher and sponsor for many years. And Man. Oh, God, I'm going to say it. She's missed. She is missed on a personal level, on a professional level, on any kind of level. Teacher's lounge level. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Department chair level. Department chair level. Uh, I used to, we used to, uh, uh, my first year here, uh, we go into a teacher's lounge and she has a couple of jars of pickles and it's right before mm, the... Uh, mm, Fort Gibson Classic. Fort Gibson Classic, yeah. And she's cutting up and these pickles and I'm just like, what are you doing, you know? And she's like, I'm making these uh, pickles and, it, she, you know... I mean, they're just legendary here yes, in the uh, hospitality room. And so from that point on, I should have started calling her. I mean, I, I did start calling her Sugar Pickles. Sugar Pickles. <laughs> <laughs> she's probably been called a lot of names. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm sure she's calling me some names right now. <laughs> and she's definitely calling you some names <laughs> that we can't say. So, Ms. Imhoff, we love you. We miss you. So, uh, Gracie Shield not at the line again. She does a good job drawing those fouls. She does. Checking in for the uh, Lady Broncos, Lucy McClure. You know, she's another one. Inside threat, outside threat. 
Yeah. Mid-length threat. Reese Webb checking in and Jordan Gann checking in for the Lady Tigers. Yeah. Giving uh, Gracie Shield Knight and Lexi Fouch a break. Lady Tigers just cruising right now with a 34-point lead. You know, one thing I've always enjoyed about uh, athletics is, especially with Coach London, Coach Walker, and, uh, and you know, Coach Lowe, uh, there's the assistant coach. Now, we go way back. Uh, we were at Central South Hall together, Coach Lowe and I were. And, uh, you know, the thing about them is, is that it doesn't matter if they're up 30 or down 30. They're still going to coach the same way. They still coach the girls. And, you know, it says a lot about coaching. You know, you see a lot of coaches, they're down by 30 or up by 30, and they just kind of stop coaching. Our coaches continue to coach these girls hard. Our girls continue to, like, you know, University of Texas, it, it's all gas, no breaks. Well, so. yeah, you tell your girls not to quit, so they can't very well quit coaching. Lead by example. Yeah. Well, I got another message from uh, Jace Dorch. Jace Dorch, another 2020 graduate. Love to give him a little shout-out, a little love. I miss watching him play and, and, and Jason saying, Dorch. Ch -ch -ch -ch. Yeah. No, that oh. was Kyle. That's Kyle you're thinking of. Oh, well. Yeah. Well, he was good. He was good, too. Jace was fun to watch in baseball. Okay, there we go. He was a good baseball player. Well, I got my player. I got my... Aren't they cousins? Well, with the last name like Dorch, they got to be related some way. Somehow. <laughs> Love the ball movement. Setting something up from the corner. Whitely with a three. 60-22. that was sweet. Porterfield heading to the scorer's table. Ooh, fall away jumper. Lawrence, Little mid-range jumper from the Lady Broncos. Oh, sweet feed in there to Jordan Gann. Jenna lightly drives in. Might have drawn a little bit of a foul there, it looked like to hear. Yeah, Jenna's sister, I just I just saw her. She's at Roger State. Zoe Whiteley. Or if she likes it there. That's a good community, Claremore. That's where my son goes as well. That's right. Trip. Well, Sherry, was uh, Roger State, were they in Division Two when you played basketball? or? I, I think I don't remember. Yeah, I think they were NAIA. Now we're talking about trivia. Can someone tell me the university that Miss Godwin played for. <laughs> Division two, NCAA Division two basketball player. And we still don't have our first trivia question answered. Yeah, we don't have our first trivia question answered. Is nobody out there? <laughs> I, don't, I don't guess anyone's listening. I guess we could say whatever we want now, Sherry. What Sherry? band <laughs> sings the national anthem at our local games? I believe there's three, is it three former coaches? Three former coaches from Fort Gibson that sang on it, right? Well, I know two for sure. Ah, uh, here's one of my favorites of all time. Number 33, Jordan Hayes. Another one of my softball players. You talking about just a great girl, smart, sharp, knows the game, leader. Well. My daughter played on the team with her in the summer a couple times, and I don't know if I've ever seen a better passer. Yeah, she. If there's someone open on the court, she finds them. Yes. Comes from a, comes from a great family, sisters. I think her sister's a teacher here, or just some intern. She's a teacher here. That's yeah. At one of the elementaries. Yeah. Well, and isn't isn't Jordan a three sporter? She's soccer, oh, she's baseball, or softball and she basketball. She is. She uh, she's a goalie for the soccer team, and uh, she's she's a do everything for uh, the fast pitch program. 
I'll tell you that Jordan Gann's invaluable. Oh, my goodness. She was a great pickup, wasn't she? Yes. Look at that. What do we call that again? That's another rebound. Another offensive rebound. No, I guess that wasn't was an offensive. It, <laughs> it was, was Jordan defensive. with a three. Yeah, another defensive rebound. Whoa, whoa. Now we have Coach Lowe saying, hey, calm everything down. And they do. They pull the back. They pull the ball out. Kind of fun seeing the girls playing right now. Two of the five softball players love seeing that. I just love seeing kids that are just multiple athletes. Or, you know, they play multiple sports. Well, and I like that here at Fort Gibson that's encouraged because, you know, when I was in school, some coaches discouraged others from playing, you know, a, a multiple sports. Absolutely. Absolutely. You know, that argument's going to continue. There's people that believe that, uh, you know, specialize in a sport, and there's, you know, just as many that disagree, say, you know, there should be uh, multiple sports and... Well, you know, and some coaches say you can't, you know, give one sport or multiple sports your all, whereas you should focus on one. But what was, like, Jordan London was a three-sport three, three sport all-stater. He, yeah, he was a three-sport all-stater. Golf, uh, football, and basketball. Yeah. So, there you go. You know, but that's just, you know, to each their own. Some I think it works both ways. Wow, look at Look at that take. I, her name is synonymous with solid. She's just yes. a solid player. Talk about people on our bench that could start at other schools. She's definitely one of them. Got, a, got another message. Now this girl is really special. Uh, it's McKenna Cantrell. Love to give some... Uh, Shout out love to McKenna. Uh, she, re she recently had a baby? No. No. No, no, no. No, that's, that's not McKenna. <laughs> Sorry. God, <I> no, wait. <laughs> who was that? It was God, I <laughs> hope not. <laughs> no, McKenna just graduated last okay, year. Okay, I was thinking uh, Darla Cantrell's daughter. Yeah. But, uh, no, McKenna uh, was a soccer player and softball player for me. I know who you're talking about. Now. Yeah. Uh, I just... Love that girl to death. Well, I know in the classroom she was a hard worker. Oh, she's a, she's just she's amazing. Uh, um, person we're gonna on go off ahead field. and go to a commercial during this timeout. Cornerstone Funeral Home and Crematory wish to personally invite you and your family to come tour the newest funeral home at the only crematory in Muskogee. Cornerstone welcomes the opportunity to answer any questions regarding planning and pre-arrangements for you and your loved ones. At Cornerstone, you'll find a helpful professional staff and beautiful surroundings. Come experience the difference at Cornerstone Funeral Home, 1830 North York, Muskogee, where you will find faces you know and reputations you trust. Renfro Electric has been in business for over 35 years and is a full-service electrical contractor for all of Oklahoma. We are able to serve our customers with superior craftsmanship and top-notch service. With over 40 employees and a bonding capacity in excess of $6 million, we can handle those larger jobs but are still small enough to provide the personal service our customers have come to expect. For any electrical needs, give us a call at 918-687-7535. And we're back after that Renfro Electric commercial. Thanks to uh, Renfro Electric for the sponsor. So I've got a question for you. Why, okay. why are there, and you might not know the answer, why are there sometimes two officials and sometimes three? I thought there were three at the playoffs. You know, uh, to my understanding, and I, and I may be incorrect, but I think I'm somewhere in the ballpark when I talk about this. The OSSA was supposed to start doing three, uh, you know, a, a, a three-person officiating crew. Uh, starting, I think, two years ago, and, you know, I think they started with uh, doing it at the state level first, the state tournament, and then they were supposed to do it the following year in the state area, and then they were supposed to 
uh, trickle on down in all classes mm -hmm. uh, from state, area, regional, and district. But I, I, th I think now that uh, that doesn't officially take off until I think maybe next year, you know, and they're still doing the two-man in district. Because some games I've attended this year, there were three, and I didn't yes. know what to attribute that to. Yeah. So Kenzie London for the two-point drive there. So we've got a 35-point uh, difference in the score. Yep. Uh-oh, looks like uh, Coach Lowe's pointing at some girls that are going to get some more minutes on That'd the court. That would be nice. I know the parents would appreciate seeing that. Oh, yeah. I got a funny story about one uh, McKenna. I mentioned her earlier, McKenna Cantrell. She, uh, I have a parking spot, and so, you know, the girls knew better than to uh, – take my parking spot and it was McKenna senior year and that girl would just go park in my parking spot and think it's the funniest thing ever and uh, it, she is one of those uh, she's one of those players that I've had that doesn't matter what kind of mood I'm in she just uh, she would make me smile and laugh and and she just uh, she just brought that to the team and I think that brought a lot of success to our program over the years that we have it yeah positive absolutely like that. yeah just kind of keep up the morale. Yep. Well, we have a whole slew of new Lady Tigers on the court. Like Kenzie Snell. We Jenna got Whiteley, Jordan. London. I mean Jordan London. <laughs> Jordan Hayes and Porterfield. Jordan Gann, Gann. and then uh, yeah Porterfield. Yep. And we have uh, Marianne Parks, number fourteen at the scorers table. You know, it's it's fun watching these girls play, um, and and seeing them develop, you know, into the players, you know, throughout the years. But I think it's really neat when uh, you're watching these girls and and you know the kind of you know the kind of uh, character they have because of the classroom, you know. And mm -hmm. and I think that's what that's uh, Coach Bethridge and I uh, talked about that is you know I think that brings greatness when they compete in the classroom for the top grade. Yes. And that competitive nature carries over into these sports. And I think that says a lot about uh, our school, about our administration, how they, you know, make, you know, education just as important as sports because, you know, it trickles out that competitive nature. That was well said. Ditto. That's a rare turnover for tonight. Yeah. Marianne Park advancing the ball at the court. Now she plays AAU ball too in the summer. Mm -hmm. There's Jordan Hayes with the three. Oh. You know, she's another one of those triple threat players. She she's is. A good inside, outside, can very capable of dribbling the ball down the court. Yep. Handling the ball, I should have said, you know. I'll tell you her athleticism, Sherry. Uh, this year we had uh, we had some girls get hurt and with COVID, you know, you know, uh, not being able to play and whatnot, and we needed someone to catch. And Jordan stepped in, did a marvelous job. I mean, we just switched right there in the middle of the game. And uh, Jordan did a phenomenal job, didn't complain one bit, had a lot of great support from her parents. Uh, that's what I mean. It's just... You, know, you have great parents, great family, trickles into the player as well. And uh, that's the kind of that's kind of unselfish player that she is. Well, it looks like the uh, Lady Tigers are on control, Sherry. 71-31 in the fourth quarter. So the winner plays uh, at Seminole. At Seminole, Thursday night. Thursday night. Oh, Thursday. Yeah. Now, if you're not familiar with Seminole, go south on the turnpike to I-40. Go drive about an hour and a half. And if uh, you're asking where a good place to eat, there's a little catfish place right there off the highway. But let me tell you what it's known for. It has the most amazing fritters you've ever eaten in your life. What's a fritter? It's basically fried goodness with 
<laughs> you know, it, it's just it's just fried goodness with some uh, powdered sugar. So I don't know what they put in them, but it's amazing. The catfish is great. Uh, if you were to ask my boys what's good there, uh, they got the hamburger, which I don't understand, but they went enjoy the hamburger. Restaurant. They went to a catfish restaurant. You got a hamburger. I think it's called a catfish round roundup. I think that's what the name of it is. Calf catfish roundup. With five minutes left, the Lady Tigers are in uh, control, 71-31. There's another great rebound by Jordan Hayes. There's another three. Oh, oh that could have easily gone in. Look at that rebound. Look offensive at that offensive rebound. rebound. With the Thor tie. Yeah. And again... Gan, that name we've said often tonight. But from, uh, you know, we're sitting right behind the uh, home bench. And as soon as she let that go, Sherry and I are looking and we're yeah. just like, that's. We, we knew it was in. Yeah, that yeah. was in. That was textbook right there. I, I kind of saw Sherry kind of stand up and hold up a three. It kind of <laughs> took her back to her playing days. <laughs> I had to ask Sherry to sit down. I'm like, Sherry, sit down. Settle down now. Settle down. I don't know if there was an MVP tonight. I think it had to be Jordan Gann. Yeah, Jordan Gann. Heck, there's about six, seven girls that we could call an MVP. Well, you're right. I'd say if we uh, look wow. at there. She's unconscious. Unconscious. Oh, uh, there's a girl number 34, Margarita Lopez Rojas. And number five, Cody Poncho. We have uh, there at the score table for Bethany. Now we have Lindsay Fouch, the younger sister. Well, there's Checking number in. two, Stephanie Hickman. Stephanie Hickman, number two, going to the scorer's table as well. Jordan, Hayes, Mary Ann, Abby Porterfield. And there's uh, two shields. When Look I at Gann just posting up. Oh Look yeah. at this move. Oh, I thought, I thought that was golden right there. Oh, oh wow. My goodness. <laughs> She's unstoppable. You talk about someone that is on fire right now. Hiya. 80 to 31 with uh, their little 30-second timeout. That gives us plenty of time to go to commercial. So we'll be right back here in about 30 seconds. Keith Hardware and Supply has been located in Fort Gibson, Oklahoma since 1957. We strive to find solutions to your fix and offer a multitude of quality products and services such as steel chainsaws, Yeti coolers, Cub Cadet mowers, case knives, and big green egg grills. In early 2015, Keith Hardware remodeled and added hundreds of new items to better serve their customers. At Keith Hardware, we are proud supporters of all Fort Gibson School events. Go Tigers! All right, we're back. Score is 80 to 31. With about three minutes left in the ball game. A steal there by Jordan Hayes. Advancing the ball down the court to Stephanie Hickman, number two. I just love that movement with the Lady Tigers. Possess and now it looks like the Lady Broncos have uh, come out of man and gone into a zone. Matchup zone of sorts. And, and you can e you can even hear them up uh, 49 points, and you still hear Coach Lowe, Coach London coaching these girls up. You know, it's one of those things that you know you're just not coaching this game. You're coaching next year, and you're coaching the year That's after. True. You know.
one or two of them out there could very well be starters next year. Yep, there's Snell, a little mid-range jumper. Looked like a jump ball to me, but. It did look like a jump ball. No Called one, the foul. No one asked me, but. <laughs> Looks like the Broncos are have uh, Jazz. And if any Bethany Broncos are listening, I just want to apologize. Before you butcher it? Before I butcher it. But I want to say it's Gatimo. Gatmo. Uh, G-A-T-I-M-U. Uh, going to the scores table. You know, there's one... If there's one person that can, uh, oh, and we have 13, Jaden Barger, a little freshman, 5'8 freshman coming in. We have uh, number 44, Mia Edwards checking in for the Lady Tigers. And number 22, Heaven Frost, another 5'7 sophomore checking in for Jordan Hayes and Snell. Now, is, is the, the loser of the game tonight, are they out? No, no, no. So it's a double elimination. Oh, it is. Okay. Yeah, it's double elimination. I've always, you know, it's the same thing in uh, softball and uh, baseball and uh, basketball. And there's a, there's an argument out there for coaches, you know, we're all torn. It's, it's, it's just odd that it's a double elimination all the way through playoffs okay. until we get to state and then it becomes one. Okay. You know, so, okay. hmm. and, you I know, the see. argument is how does that make sense? You know, you get yeah. two chances yeah. to get there, and then and when then you get there, you don't sudden, have any. Yeah, you're in that mode. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I, I said loser. I was hesitant there. Non-winner. I want to be yeah. politically correct. You know, I uh, I read in a book one time, and I can't remember what book it was, but one of the, one of the things the author said that the winners and losers – uh, have the same goal. That's good. Yeah. I like that. And so, you know, I've, I've mentioned that to our girls, you know, because win or lose, the Mary Ann Park for a three with a three. There. But winners and losers have the same goal, you know, and they work for the same thing. You know, something so simplistic sounds so profound. Yeah. I'm sure I'll hear about it tomorrow in the teacher's lounge about how profound I sound. Well, that's a given. <laughs> All right, well, 17 seconds left. And Sherry, I'm going to go down and do a little senior night uh, ceremony. Okay. And then uh, we'll be back for the boys game. That will be fun. That will be fun.
We'd like to welcome everyone to tonight's senior ceremony for Fort Gibson Tigers. Tonight's first senior is Mr. Caden Dennis. Son of Rob and Jamie Dennis. He's played basketball for four to nine years. Currently plays guard as number 24 for the board for Gibson Tigers. His favorite basketball memory is from last year when they won districts and they went crazy in the locker room. It's something he'll never forget. After graduation, Caden plans to go to college and he says, you know, I don't want to get too far from home, but he's going to major in computer science. Ladies and gentlemen, senior Caden Younger Dennis. And our second senior, Mr. Max Wicks. Wicks is the son of Jason and Melanie Strawberry Queen Wicks. He has played basketball for 15 years and currently plays post as number 13 for your four Gibson Tigers. His favorite basketball memory is when he made his very first three-pointer and his dad announced, Max Wicks for one, two, three. After graduation, Max plans to attend Northeastern State University, where both his parents were legends there, to obtain a degree in business administration, and after that, to start a family with the love of his life and have two athletic Olympic kids. He also wanted to include that his favorite teacher was Coach Oberon. I don't know why, but ladies and gentlemen, senior Max Wicks. And that, ladies and gentlemen, concludes tonight's senior ceremony. This broadcast is brought to you by Cornerstone Funeral Home and Crematory, Pete's Hardware and Supply, Renfro Electric, First Star Bank, and Fort Gibson Education Foundation. Keith Hardware and Supply has been located in Fort Gibson, Oklahoma since 1957. We strive to find solutions to your fix and offer a multitude of quality products and services such as steel chainsaws, Yeti coolers, Cub Cadet mowers, case knives, and big green egg grills. In early 2015, Keith Hardware remodeled and added hundreds of new items to better serve their customers. At Keith Hardware, we are proud supporters of all Fort Gibson school events. Go Tigers! Cornerstone Funeral Home and Crematory wish to personally invite you and your family to come tour the newest funeral home at the only crematory in Muskogee. Cornerstone welcomes the opportunity to answer any questions regarding planning and pre-arrangements for you and your loved ones. At Cornerstone, you'll find a helpful professional staff and beautiful surroundings. Come experience the difference at Cornerstone Funeral Home, 1830 North York, Muskogee, where you will find faces you know and reputations you trust. Fort Gibson Education Foundation's desire is to help our students receive the best possible education our community can provide. We make every effort to be the highest quality educational system in the state. Donations equal opportunities, opportunities for students and teachers to be their best. An opportunity to build, design, and compete. An opportunity to create, design, and share. An opportunity to encourage, develop, and provide. An opportunity to travel, process, and gain real-world knowledge. An opportunity to honor, celebrate, and inspire. 
When you donate to our Fort Gibson Education Foundation, 100% of what you donate goes back into our classrooms for students and teachers so we can give them as many opportunities as possible. We are your Fort Gibson Education Foundation. Go see Scott Abbott, your local Farm Bureau agent. Proudly supporting and serving Green Country for 27 years. Call Scott Abbott at 918-682-2091 in Muskogee for your annual insurance review. Scott Abbott, your agent for life. Renfro Electric has been in business for over 35 years and is a full-service electrical contractor for all of Oklahoma. We are able to serve our customers with superior craftsmanship and top-notch service. With over 40 employees and a bonding capacity in excess of $6 million, we can handle those larger jobs but are still small enough to provide the personal service our customers have come to expect. For any electrical needs, give us a call at 918-687-7535. I got all these VHS tapes, just don't know what to do. I'm bringing them to the high school, but we will take care of you. Ten dollars, ten dollars, ten dollars all you need to get your VHS tapes on DVD. All proceeds go to Tiger Vision to get new cameras and equipment. Ten dollars, ten dollars, ten dollars all you need to get your VHS tapes on DVD. Other formats available. Keith Hardware and Supply has been located in Fort Gibson, Oklahoma since 1957. We strive to find solutions to your fix and offer a multitude of quality products and services such as steel chainsaws, Yeti coolers, Cub Cadet mowers, case knives, and big green egg grills. In early 2015, Keith Hardware remodeled and added hundreds of new items to better serve their customers. At Keith Hardware, we are proud supporters of all Fort Gibson school events. Go Tigers! This broadcast is brought to you by Cornerstone Funeral Home and Crematory, Keith's Hardware and Supply, Renfro Electric, First Star Bank, and Fort Gibson Education Foundation. Keith Hardware and Supply has been located in Fort Gibson, Oklahoma since 1957. We strive to find solutions to your fix and offer a multitude of quality products and services such as steel chainsaws, Yeti coolers, Cub Cadet mowers, case knives, and big green egg grills. In early 2015, Keith Hardware remodeled and added hundreds of new items to better serve their customers. At Keith Hardware, we are proud supporters of all Fort Gibson school events. Go Tigers! Cornerstone Funeral Home and Crematory wish to personally invite you and your family to come tour the newest funeral home and the only crematory in Muskogee. Cornerstone welcomes the opportunity to answer any questions regarding planning and pre-arrangements for you and your loved ones. At Cornerstone, you'll find a helpful professional staff and beautiful surroundings. Come experience the difference at Cornerstone Funeral Home, 1830 North York, Muskogee, where you will find faces you know and reputations you trust. Fort Gibson Education Foundation's desire is to help our students receive the best possible education our community can provide. We make every effort to be the highest quality educational system in the state. Donations equal opportunities, opportunities for students and teachers to be their best. An opportunity to build, design, and compete. 
An opportunity to create, design, and share. An opportunity to encourage, develop, and provide. An opportunity to travel, process, and gain real-world knowledge. An opportunity to honor, celebrate, and inspire. When you donate to our Fort Gibson Education Foundation, 100% of what you donate goes back into our classrooms for students and teachers so we can give them as many opportunities as possible. We are your Fort Gibson Education Foundation. Go see Scott Abbott, your local Farm Bureau agent. Proudly supporting and serving Green Country for 27 years. Call Scott Abbott at 918-682-2091 in Muskogee for your annual insurance review. Scott Abbott, your agent for life. Renfro Electric has been in business for over 35 years and is a full-service electrical contractor for all of Oklahoma. We are able to serve our customers with superior craftsmanship and top-notch service. With over 40 employees and a bonding capacity in excess of $6 million, we can handle those larger jobs but are still small enough to provide the personal service our customers have come to expect. For any electrical needs, give us a call at 918-687-7535. I got all these VHS tapes, just don't know what to do. I'm bringing them to the high school, the way will take care of you. Ten dollars, ten dollars, ten dollars all you need to get your VHS tapes on DVD. All proceeds go to Tiger Vision to get new cameras and equipment. Ten dollars, ten dollars, ten dollars all you need to get your VHS tapes on DVD. Other formats available. Keith Hardware and Supply has been located in Fort Gibson, Oklahoma since 1957. We strive to find solutions to your fix and offer a multitude of quality products and services such as steel chainsaws, Yeti coolers, Cub Cadet mowers, case knives, and big green egg grills. In early 2015, Keith Hardware remodeled and added hundreds of new items to better serve their customers. At Keith Hardware, we are proud supporters of all Fort Gibson school events. Go Tigers! This broadcast is brought to you by Cornerstone Funeral Home and Crematory, Keith's Hardware and Supply, Renfro Electric, First Star Bank, and Fort Gibson Education Foundation. Keith Hardware and Supply has been located in Fort Gibson, Oklahoma since 1957. We strive to find solutions to your fix and offer a multitude of quality products and services such as steel chainsaws, Yeti coolers, Cub Cadet mowers, case knives, and big green egg grills. In early 2015, Keith Hardware remodeled and added hundreds of new items to better serve their customers. At Keith Hardware, we are proud supporters of all Fort Gibson school events. Go Tigers! Cornerstone Funeral Home and Crematory wish to personally invite you and your family to come tour the newest funeral home and the only crematory in Muskogee. Cornerstone welcomes the opportunity to answer any questions regarding planning and pre-arrangements for you and your loved ones. At Cornerstone, you'll find a helpful professional staff and beautiful surroundings. Come experience the difference at Cornerstone Funeral Home, 1830 North York, Muskogee, where you will find faces you know and reputations you trust. Fort Gibson Education Foundation's desire is to help our students receive the best possible education our community can provide. 
We make every effort to be the highest quality educational system in the state. Donations equal opportunities, opportunities for students and teachers to be their best. An opportunity to build, design, and compete. An opportunity to create, design, and share. An opportunity to encourage, develop, and provide. An opportunity to travel, process, and gain real-world knowledge. An opportunity to honor, celebrate, and inspire. When you donate to our Fort Gibson Education Foundation, 100% of what you donate goes back into our classrooms for students and teachers so we can give them as many opportunities as possible. We are your Fort Gibson Education Foundation. Go see Scott Abbott, your local Farm Bureau agent. Proudly supporting and serving Green Country for 27 years. Call Scott Abbott at 918-682-2091 in Muskogee for your annual insurance review. Scott Abbott, your agent for life. Renfro Electric has been in business for over 35 years and is a full-service electrical contractor for all of Oklahoma. We are able to serve our customers with superior craftsmanship and top-notch service. With over 40 employees and a bonding capacity in excess of $6 million, we can handle those larger jobs but are still small enough to provide the personal service our customers have come to expect. For any electrical needs, give us a call at 918-687-7535. I got all these VHS tapes, just don't know what to do. I'm bringing them to the high school, the one will take care of you. Ten dollars, ten dollars, ten dollars is all you need to get your VHS tapes on DVD. All proceeds go to Tiger Vision to get new cameras and equipment. Ten dollars, ten dollars, ten dollars all you need to get your VHS tapes on DVD. Other formats available. Keith Hardware and Supply has been located in Fort Gibson, Oklahoma since 1957. We strive to find solutions to your fix and offer a multitude of quality products and services such as steel chainsaws, Yeti coolers, Cub Cadet mowers, case knives, and big green egg grills. In early 2015, Keith Hardware remodeled and added hundreds of new items to better serve their customers. At Keith Hardware, we are proud supporters of all Fort Gibson School events. Go Tigers! This broadcast is brought to you by Cornerstone Funeral Home and Crematory, Keith's Hardware and Supply, Renfro Electric, First Star Bank, and Fort Gibson Education Foundation. Keith Hardware and Supply has been located in Fort Gibson, Oklahoma since 1957. We strive to find solutions to your fix and offer a multitude of quality products and services such as steel chainsaws, Yeti coolers, Cub Cadet mowers, case knives, and big green egg grills. In early 2015, Keith Hardware remodeled and added hundreds of new items to better serve their customers. At Keith Hardware, we are proud supporters of all Fort Gibson School events. Go Tigers! Cornerstone Funeral Home and Crematory wish to personally invite you and your family to come tour the newest funeral home and the only crematory in Muskogee. 
Cornerstone welcomes the opportunity to answer any questions regarding planning and pre-arrangements for you and your loved ones. At Cornerstone, you'll find a helpful professional staff and beautiful surroundings. Come experience the difference at Cornerstone Funeral Home, 1830 North York, Muskogee, where you will find faces you know and reputations you trust. For Gibson Education Foundation's desire is to help our students receive the best possible education our community can provide. We make every effort to be the highest quality educational system in the state. Donations equal opportunities, opportunities for students and teachers to be their best. An opportunity to build, design, and compete. An opportunity to create, design, and share. An opportunity to encourage, develop, and provide. An opportunity to travel, process, and gain real-world knowledge. An opportunity to honor, celebrate, and inspire. When you donate to our Fort Gibson Education Foundation, 100% of what you donate goes back into our classrooms for students and teachers so we can give them as many opportunities as possible. We are your Fort Gibson Education Foundation. Go see Scott Abbott, your local Farm Bureau agent. Proudly supporting and serving Green Country for 27 years. Call Scott Abbott at 918-682-2091 in Muskogee for your annual insurance review. Scott Abbott, your agent for life. Renfro Electric has been in business for over 35 years and is a full-service electrical contractor for all of Oklahoma. We are able to serve our customers with superior craftsmanship and top-notch service. With over 40 employees and a bonding capacity in excess of $6 million, we can handle those larger jobs but are still small enough to provide the personal service our customers have come to expect. For any electrical needs, give us a call at 918-687-7535. I got all these VHS tapes, just don't know what to do. I'm bringing them to the high school, the one will take care of you. Ten dollars, ten dollars, ten dollars all you need to get your VHS tapes on DVD. All proceeds go to Tiger Vision to get new cameras and equipment. Ten dollars, ten dollars, ten dollars all you need to get your VHS tapes on DVD. Other formats available. Keith Hardware and Supply has been located in Fort Gibson, Oklahoma since 1957. We strive to find solutions to your fix and offer a multitude of quality products and services such as steel chainsaws, Yeti coolers, Cub Cadet mowers, case knives, and big green egg grills. In early 2015, Keith Hardware remodeled and added hundreds of new items to better serve their customers. At Keith Hardware, we are proud supporters of all Fort Gibson school events. Go Tigers! Well, Sherry, we're back for game two of tonight's uh, districts. Uh, again, it's the uh, Bethany Broncos right outside of Oklahoma City. Like I uh, said earlier, it's uh, back, west of Oklahoma City, east of uh, Yukon. How far of a drive is that? Uh, to Bethany is basically Oklahoma City, so from here, anywhere between two hours, 20 minutes, and two hours and 45 minutes. That'll be a short night for them. It should be a short night. Starters, a junior, number one, Michael Woolridge. 
So starting the game off, we'll be uh, we're, we're going to be a little bit out, you know, uh, oversized. Bethany starts a 6'8", 6'3", 5'9", and 6'3", uh, 6'7". My. Uh, on the starting uh, lineup. And here's our starters for tonight's contest. And now for your four against the Titans with a record of nine wins and seven losses, let's meet your stars. A six foot junior, number three, Jackson Blunt. You know, he's been a starter since he was a freshman. He's been a solid player for, for, for our high school team. Brent Edwards. Six two, a senior, number 13, Max Wicks. Max Wicks, another senior, number 13. A six one, a senior, number 24, Caden Dennis. Our second senior, Dennis. number 24, Caden Dennis. And a six four, a junior, number 33, Ethan Briggs. E-Dog. Oh, E-Dog, six four, four junior. Now, Tom Dickerson, assisted by Mike Shelton, Wes Whiteley, and Jordan London. Well, looks like a... Uh, and We're about Parker. to get this show on the road right now. Oh, there's a bell. Ready to battle. Takes you to those, uh, the years of the 90s uh, when Chicago Bulls. Yes. You know? Yes. That's, that's what this whole <laughs> thing's about. Michael Jordan. Which, I'm not going to argue, Sherry. I don't argue this point in the classroom, but Jordan's the greatest of all time. I don't well, have any no, argument. I, I have to argue there. It's got to <laughs> be Larry Bird. Larry Bird. <laughs> Ethan Briggs is ready. Ethan Briggs is amped up. e dog. It looks all like right. Max Wicks is in the zone. Literally and figuratively. Three-point zone. All right. It looks like they're moving the ball, trying to work it to the center. The center's wanting it. Mm. Yeah. Well, they're bringing it up the court. Pushing it up pretty quickly. Uh -huh. Pushing it pretty quickly. and Max set a good screen there. E-Dog was open. E-Dog was open and... Didn't get it. Blunt up for a shot. Oh, E-Dog. Offensive Brett rebound. Edward with a shot. Nice. Oh, that is. You can't leave him alone. He'll, he'll take advantage of that. Yeah, he takes advantage of that. That's a one, two, three, yeah, as Rick would say. But, you know, me, I'm going to go with goal. <laughs> goal. <laughs> You know, you were talking earlier about gym rats. I don't know how many times I've come up here and I've seen Grant Edwards in here shooting. Oh, yeah. Ethan oh. Briggs, did he call that? E-Dog. E oh, E-Dog is hungry. E-Dog is on that court. He's on the prowl. And uh, looks like the bank is open. Looks like the bank is open. Okay, I'd like to take this minute really quick to thank some of our sponsors. Cornerstone Funeral Home and Crematory, Keys Hardware and Supply, Renfro Electric, First Star Bank, and Port Gibson Education Association. Thank you for your support. Well, right meow, we're in a timeout with about five seconds left. The uh, coaching's pretty amped up on both sides. Pretty animated there. Yeah. The coach didn't get us amped up. That music would. It's like defenses pretty yeah, tight. I, I want to say that that bank was opened by uh, Deathridge and Deathridge Bank and Finance. Oh man! If he can. Oh wow! Look at that rebound coming oh, over. That yeah, was look with at the that. tie. Oh, missed the oh. dunk. Ooh. Wow, they are playing above the rim. Oh, oh, oh coming back call. the other way. Good call. Good call. 
good position there with Caden and Dennis. That was a little shine from the bench right there. A little excitement, a little shine from the bench. Showing some excitement, that's great. All right, we're right now. We're in a two game. Looking for another goal by Jackson Blunt. Man, that, that is that's his textbook right that there. That is textbook. textbook. 8-0 run by these Tigers. Well, you can tell that they're amped up. Oh, wow, making a run. Another three. Oh, look at E-Dog with the offensive, offensive rebound. boards. E oh, Max Wicks almost got one there. With five minutes if in that first quarter. If we can keep this momentum up the entire game, I like our chances. Wow, what a save by the Broncos. Only to go to... Nice ball movement up the court. There's E-Dog. Look at E-Dog. Oh, man. Pass number 24, Caden Dennis, his first team foul number one on the Tigers. Man, that foul was just uh, Dennis. That just looked like a hack city right there. There's a fine line. You want it, you want them to, to play aggressively and you don't wanna don't wanna call everything, but then you can't get it let it get out of hand either. Oh no, no. But you know, it's just like any great coach would say, anytime you outscore the other team, you have a good chance to win. <laughs> You know, I've, I've it always was a said, wise coach. It, it was a wise coach. You know, I've always said, you know, hey, if we score more than they do, we have a have a great great chance to pretty win. Good, pretty good chance. But it's a good philosophy. Hmm. Somebody hit the wood hard down there on the court. Jackson Blunt with the wow. three. I'll tell you, you talk about a true leader on the court. You yeah. Know, I said earlier he was even a starter as oh, a was freshman. That a, did they count that as a two? I thought, I it, was thought it was a three. Well, they give us two. It's a 10 0 mm. run by. 10 mm, 0 run. Wow, yeah. another. We have. Another. Uh, played awesome defense. Yeah, another rebound by Caden. Man, we are in the zone right now. Now we're in a three game looking for another goal. From Jackson. Man, it's two game, three game. What versatility we have. Got a lot of movement right there. I, lo I love how they set picks. I mean, they just have so many, uh, you know, they've ran this system for many years, even, you know, even in junior high. All that continuity, you know. Yes. Just great movement right there. We're just playing, you know, right now we're playing really, really smart. You know, keeping the ball Not away from them. Not rushing anything. Yeah. Heck, if we can just hold the ball like this for three more quarters in two minutes, we win. Mm, I like that. <laughs> oh, okay, look at there. We get a great call. That was a good call in that our was, favor. It was a good call in our favor. I felt it was a correct call as well. Caden, you know Caden's playing tough. He's coming off the bench breathing hard. That, I, you love that in a player, you know, just to give it their all. Checking in for him was uh, Seth Rowan. Number 12, Seth Rowan. Another kid that's been playing since he's been young. Mm -hmm. You know, he's a two-sporter. He's a you know, starter in soccer as well. Goal! Jackson Blunt. Goal! What a leader. Goal! Another three and another, by Jackson and Blunt. another gym rat there. Oh, another gym rat, yeah. And still, I, th I think the lid is closed on that basket there. Let's let's hope it stays closed it, yeah, until the second until half. Until the anyway. second half, let's open it up to second half. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, 
You know, number 24 had that miss earlier, so it seems like he's a little bit gun shy from the outside. Oh, look at that rebound by 24. I think there is a lid uh, on I that think there's a lid on there. You hear me basket, I'm dating myself. <laughs> <laughs> now, if you said peach basket, I'd probably start laughing then. Cause number three, Jackson Clark, his second personal, second team foul on Bethany. We're going to switch over to some ESP. SAP, I'm sorry, not ESP. A little SAP. Estamos mirando el basketball de <laughs> Fort Gibson. Los Tigres del Fort Gibson. Did you learn that from Babel? I did. El baloncesto. Es para los Tigres del Norte. Los Tigres del Norte. That's a famous uh, band kind of giggled on that. If anyone was listening that knows, they would have laughed as well. Oh, man. E-Dog with a foul. Uh-oh. We can't let him we, get many yeah, more. Yeah, we can't. We need him. Necesitamos E-Dog. Is that how you say E-Dog in Spanish? Yeah, that's why I'm going, that's why I'm going to say it. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Throws it away. I don't want to jinx it, Sherry, but I'm liking we, our chances so far. I mean, I think if the score stays this way, we win. You got I would venture to say you're right. <laughs> you got to believe that Bethany right now is in, in complete shock, you know, as we all are. You know, they were warming up with such confidence. Oh, yeah. Oh, E-Dog's open there in the... Now he's... Coach Dickerson's wanting the last shot here. Yeah. Looks like the Lady Broncos are... I'm sorry, excuse me, not Lady Broncos. The Broncos. Fouls on number 21. Number 21, Lady Bronco, Woods Harrell. <laughs> Sorry, the Broncos. Jackson Blunt throwing the ball in. Oh, oh, is that oh, not a foul? Oh, that, wow. I heard a slap. I really did. Wow. I, they got away with one there. Well, maybe we could still get the last shot. Oh, looky there. Oh, wow. Long shot. Okay, four, first quarter ending, Fort Gibson 13, Bethany Broncos 2. Well, let's pay some bills right now and let's go to our sponsors. Go to our sponsors. Go see Scott Abbott, your local Farm Bureau agent. Proudly supporting and serving Green Country for 27 years. Call Scott Abbott at 918-682-2091 in Muskogee for your annual insurance review. Scott Abbott. Your agent for life. Keith Hardware and Supply has been located in Fort Gibson, Oklahoma since 1957. We strive to find solutions to your fix and offer a multitude of quality products and services such as steel chainsaws, Yeti coolers, Cub Cadet mowers, case knives, and big green egg grills. In early 2015, Keith Hardware remodeled and added hundreds of new items to better serve their customers. At Keith Hardware, we are proud supporters of all Fort Gibson school events. Go Tigers! Go see Scott Abbott, your local Farm Bureau. All right, we're back. Starting the second quarter with the uh, Fort Gibson Tigers leading. 13-2. 13-2. I hope we can go on a similar run in the yeah. second quarter. And we could be 26 to 4. Did that math in my head. <laughs> Man, don't don't be using uh, too much math or that uh, Deathridge and Associates would want to take you in, in the bath department, you know. <laughs> or I should say Barris and Associates. So, Fort Gibson moving the ball around the court pretty quickly. Yeah. Getting the Broncos off balance. 
Mm. Out on the Broncos. You know, uh, just right now in these few seconds, Broncos uh, Broncos coming out a little bit more energized, it looks like. A little bit like. More, little more energetic. Yeah. Must have gotten a motivational speech there at the I always end, like the, the end of the quarter. <laughs> you know, our, uh, my coach used to say a strongly worded speech. Strongly worded speech. Strongly worded email. A strongly worded email. Wow. You know, what a dribbling display there. Mm -hmm. It was just good good defense, good offense. Oh, good move by Max. Good head fake. You know, if you would have... If I would have made a bet and said that uh, we'd hold the uh, Broncos to two points, I'd probably be homeless right now because I would have never thought that, you know. I wouldn't have. Oh, right, look at that e dog! Boards. Look, look at, at Max, Max getting in there. Working. Oh man! Work it. Max getting a little amped up there. He's another one that plays bigger than he actually is. Yes. He plays with such heart. You know, it's 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 tough watching uh, seniors play, and and uh, you know when I coached uh, or when I when I coached softball, you know the as the year comes to an end. I always tell them, you know, hey, stop the senior speech, you know, because that's the last thing you want. Is exactly. You don't want to be reminded you, this is yeah. your last game at home. And so, you know, and you stop the senior speech by winning, you know. There you go. Yeah. Keep winning and you won't have to hear the speech till you're at the big house. Look at Edwards deep, deep oh. three. Like I said, I'm, that's not something that's developed overnight. No. That's years and years and years of practice. Edwards with a uh, three cola. Good defense Again, by the Tigers. You know we're, we're in a good zone and it's just I I don't I don't believe the uh, Broncos know what to do. I mean we're blocking out. Look at that another defensive rebound mm -hmm. by Caden. Oh, Look at that. Sweet pass. Sweet. Nice Look at rebound. that kick out. Sweet. Another three by Grant oh, Edwards. Playing so well together as a team. To four. 19 to 4. That's a 15 point deficit. Look at that. I'm pretty sure that basket is closed. Oh, do we have a hurt player, number 24, down here? You know, I wouldn't wish Maybe that on anyone, but uh, that would be advantageous for us. It does look like he's a little bit injured. A deep oh my, that's three. That's an NBA three. NBA three. That, that is a logo shot. I hope 24 is okay, though, seriously. Aggressive play on both sides of the ball. Yep. Good ball movement. You know, but, you know, Sherry, what, what do you say? I mean, they're taking good shots. They've missed... Uh, Heck, they've missed a dunk. They've missed layups. Mm -hmm. uh, here's another three. Look at that. Just another miss. Well, like you said earlier, yeah, both and, teams and they're not have rebounding. The same, have the same goal. Yep. Yeah. Winners and losers have the same goal. Look at that. Little mid range oh, from Caden. This is fun to watch. Fun to watch. Fort Gibson Tigers, 24. Bethany Broncos four. four. Yeah, I'd like to take this opportunity to thank our sponsors once again. Cornerstone Funeral Home and Crematory, Keys Hardware and Supply, Renfro Electric, First Star Bank, and Port Gibson Education Association. Thank you so much for your support. So we're in a this is the 32nd timeout. No, it's a, it's a full timeout. It's a full there. timeout. Yep. Yep. 32nd. Uh, you know, if, if uh, you're new to watching basketball, you know, 30-second timeouts, uh, they don't sit down. Uh, full one minute, that's when they sit down. 
it's e easy to easy to know when there's a 30 second timeout versus the one minute timeout. They're both sitting right now. Yeah, so that that'd be a one minute. Okay, so it's timeout. a one minute. Okay. Yep. okay, and so it's 30 seconds. They just I didn't know they that. They just they just stand I up. I didn't yep. know that. Yep. Okay. So I wonder when. I know when I was playing, it was just a timeout. Yeah. I wonder when they started the 30 seconds in a minute, the 20 mm. years or something. I don't know. I like that, though. Yeah, speaking of the runs, did, did you happen to eat lunch in the cafe? I brought my lunch from home. So, three-point attempt by number 12 fell short. Tigers advancing the ball up the court, patiently waiting for an open shot. Look at that there shot. We have it. Look at that. Just a mid-range. I don't know. 26-4. Such, such a leader. Such a leader. And you talk about players that, that never give up. That's Jackson Blunt. That's yeah. not in his vocabulary. It, it isn't. I mean, he gives his all. You can always tell at the end of the game. His uh, shirt's always sweated yes, wet. Yes, absolutely. At the end of the first quarter, yeah. if not in warm-ups. Look at that. Finally. Well, good good defense, but E-Dog, he just yeah. that's something you just it's yeah. unavoidable there. Max Wicks Max for a with good a three. three. Oh, my sweet shot. Heck, if we have sweet Max, shot. if we have Max, Edwards, and Blunt uh, lighting up, threes it's going to be a long game for anybody that we play you know they're just they're in the zone there he goes again good defense by ethan briggs that's another three uh, oh, a little too many steps there but uh, i think that was very questionable I guess it looked like he didn't come set, but well, speaking of 24, Peyton coming off, looking a little, I don't know, I don't know if he's hurt, maybe he's tired. Well, you know, he was the one that was injured while ago. He was, he's grimacing right now. Once again, I hope it's not anything too serious, especially if he's a senior. You know, Sherry, speaking of shoes earlier, Look at all the colorful. <laughs> yeah, colorful array. <laughs> I mean, I'm telling you. It just speaks to their individuality. Mm -hmm. And and some of the shoes the guys are wearing have pink in them. Yeah, pink pink seems to be. A, you know, uh, Hilldale boys wore a lot of pink on their shoes. Uh, it it takes a strong man to wear <laughs> pink. Once again, slowing slowing the ball down. Oh, that, oh wow. that was a good feed. That was a great feed. I think Max I think was thinking he was going to score a layup. And once again, that speaks to the unselfishness on our, our team. You know, they're unselfish almost to a fault at times like that. But I would rather them be unselfish and have turnovers is, is you know, be selfish. E-Dog with the rebound. What, what, oh, he, look at that, look at, look, look at the at rebound. E he has come to play. I think we pull it out right here, try to kill a minute, <laughs> if we can. Max is open, wanting the ball. I think they're maybe looking for the last shot of the half. I think this is what we're looking for right now, trying to move the ball, rotate. Once again, get very, a lot of movement. very patient. Oh. You know, he, he could have easily taken that shot right there when he first got it because that's in his range. Coach Dickerson has to be happy with the play from him. Oh, boys. yeah. Yeah, there's got to be a lot of shine right there yes. from that bench. Yes. A lot of high shine. A lot of heart. Okay, now I think we – I think it's a great, great time to pull it out and – Hold it. Kill some clock right here. Leave it for a last shot. You know. 
four. Max Wicks with the oh. layup. <laughs> Max Wicks taking it in. Of course, it goes out of bounds and in favor of the Tigers. Now we have 13 seconds. This is perfect. I mean, we finish with a two or three. Look at this. Shoot it. We got three, two. Good defense by Jackson. Great defense. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for listening. We're going to go to uh, our sponsors and take a break. It's uh, halftime of the district game that between. That went quick. That went really, really fast. We'll be back in about 10 minutes. Tigers leading 29 to 6 over the Broncos of Bethany. This broadcast is brought to you by Cornerstone Pure Home Crematory, Eats Hardware and Supply, Renfro Electric, First Star Bank, and Fort Gibson Education Foundation. Keith Hardware and Supply has been located in Fort Gibson, Oklahoma since 1957. We strive to find solutions to your fix and offer a multitude of quality products and services such as steel chainsaws, Yeti coolers, Cub Cadet mowers, case knives, and big green egg grills. In early 2015, Keith Hardware remodeled and added hundreds of new items to better serve their customers. At Keith Hardware, we are proud supporters of all Fort Gibson school events. Go Tigers! Cornerstone Funeral Home and Crematory wish to personally invite you and your family to come tour the newest funeral home at the only crematory in Muskogee. Cornerstone welcomes the opportunity to answer any questions regarding planning and pre-arrangements for you and your loved ones. At Cornerstone, you'll find a helpful professional staff and beautiful surroundings. Come experience the difference at Cornerstone Funeral Home, 1830 North York, Muskogee, where you will find faces you know and reputations you trust. Fort Gibson Education Foundation's desire is to help our students receive the best possible education our community can provide. We make every effort to be the highest quality educational system in the state. Donations equal opportunities, opportunities for students and teachers to be their best. An opportunity to build, design, and compete. An opportunity to create, design, and share. An opportunity to encourage, develop, and provide. An opportunity to travel, process, and gain real-world knowledge. An opportunity to honor, celebrate, and inspire. When you donate to our Fort Gibson Education Foundation, 100% of what you donate goes back into our classrooms for students and teachers so we can give them as many opportunities as possible. We are your Fort Gibson Education Foundation. Go see Scott Abbott, your local Farm Bureau agent. Proudly supporting and serving Green Country for 27 years. Call Scott Abbott at 918-682-2091 in Muskogee for your annual insurance review. Scott Abbott, your agent for life. Renfro Electric has been in business for over 35 years and is a full-service electrical contractor for all of Oklahoma. We are able to serve our customers with superior craftsmanship and top-notch service. With over 40 employees and a bonding capacity in excess of $6 million, we can handle those larger jobs but are still small enough to provide the personal service our customers have come to expect. For any electrical needs, give us a call at 918-687-7535. I got all these VHS tapes, just don't know what to do. I'm bringing them to the high school, the one will take care of you. Ten dollars, ten dollars, ten dollars all you need to get your VHS tapes on DVD. All proceeds go to Tiger Vision to get new cameras and equipment. Ten dollars, ten dollars, ten dollars all you need to get your VHS tapes on DVD. Other formats available. <laughs>
Keith Hardware and Supply has been located in Fort Gibson, Oklahoma since 1957. We strive to find solutions to your fix and offer a multitude of quality products and services such as steel chainsaws, Yeti coolers, Cub Cadet mowers, case knives, and big green egg grills. In early 2015, Keith Hardware remodeled and added hundreds of new items to better serve their customers. At Keith Hardware, we are proud supporters of all Fort Gibson School events. Go Tigers! This broadcast is brought to you by Cornerstone Funeral Home and Crematory, Keith's Hardware and Supply, Renfro Electric, First Star Bank, and Fort Gibson Education Foundation. Keith Hardware and Supply has been located in Fort Gibson, Oklahoma since 1957. We strive to find solutions to your fix and offer a multitude of quality products and services such as steel chainsaws, Yeti coolers, Cub Cadet mowers, case knives, and big green egg grills. In early 2015, Keith Hardware remodeled and added hundreds of new items to better serve their customers. At Keith Hardware, we are proud supporters of all Fort Gibson School events. Go Tigers! Cornerstone Funeral Home and Crematory wish to personally invite you and your family to come tour the newest funeral home and the only crematory in Muskogee. Cornerstone welcomes the opportunity to answer any questions regarding planning and pre-arrangements for you and your loved ones. At Cornerstone, you'll find a helpful professional staff and beautiful surroundings. Come experience the difference at Cornerstone Funeral Home, 1830 North York, Muskogee, where you will find faces you know and reputations you trust. Fort Gibson Education Foundation's desire is to help our students receive the best possible education our community can provide. We make every effort to be the highest quality educational system in the state. Donations equal opportunities, opportunities for students and teachers to be their best. An opportunity to build, design, and compete. An opportunity to create, design, and share. An opportunity to encourage, develop, and provide. An opportunity to travel, process, and gain real-world knowledge. An opportunity to honor, celebrate, and inspire. When you donate to our Fort Gibson Education Foundation, 100% of what you donate goes back into our classrooms for students and teachers so we can give them as many opportunities as possible. We are your Fort Gibson Education Foundation. Go see Scott Abbott, your local Farm Bureau agent. Proudly supporting and serving Green Country for 27 years. Call Scott Abbott at 918-682-2091 in Muskogee for your annual insurance review. Scott Abbott, your agent for life. Renfro Electric has been in business for over 35 years and is a full-service electrical contractor for all of Oklahoma. We are able to serve our customers with superior craftsmanship and top-notch service. With over 40 employees and a bonding capacity in excess of $6 million, we can handle those larger jobs but are still small enough to provide the personal service our customers have come to expect. For any electrical needs, give us a call at 918-687-7535. I got all these VHS tapes, just don't know what to do. I'm bringing them to the high school, the one will take care of you. Ten dollars, ten dollars, ten dollars all you need to get your VHS tapes on DVD. All proceeds go to Tiger Vision to get new cameras and equipment. Ten dollars, ten dollars, ten dollars all you need to get your VHS tapes on DVD. Other formats available.
and we're back. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Don't don't think the scoreboard is wrong. Fort Gibson Tigers 29. The visiting Broncos from Bethany 6. Sherry, I don't mean to toot our own horn, but you know, with this kind of play by the boys and the girls, uh, I feel like we're good luck charms. What do you think? I, I think you're right. I, th I think yeah. maybe we might have a permanent job. Yeah. Now, my dad used to say, if you don't toot your own horn, nobody else will. So. <laughs> <laughs> People are not familiar with the uh, third quarter action with the teachers' lounge. We, uh, you know, we have such a great time. I think that's what makes. Uh, Fort Gibson, you know, such a great school as a camaraderie with, yeah. with teachers and everything. And Good camaraderie for sure. Great. And, oh. you know, it's just, it's funny how, oh. What was that call? A foul. It looks like it may be goaltending. Goal looks like it may be goaltending. Okay, so it's a foul. And they are shooting too. Yeah, but it was it was goaltending. It was goaltending. I think there was. Uh, I think he touched either the uh, the net or the rim. Okay, I don't so. know that I've ever seen that called in high school basketball. You know, uh, this year watching uh, my son play, I did see it did? one time, and it was. Uh, the uh, kid comes by and he pulled the net down on accident, you know, and so they called goaltending and they counted the uh, basket. Well, Miss so. Pat Orman was asking for clarification, so that's something you don't see just every day. And I'm telling you, you better be clear with Miss Pat Orman or she will set you straight. <laughs> All right, 29-8, Broncos. You don't have to adjust your screen, ladies and gentlemen. It's not uh, Woody Harrelson refereeing. That's uh, Mark Harper. Mark Harper from McAllister. Someone said, hey, is that Woody Harrelson refing? And I thought that was a little funny. Mark's a good guy. He does look a little bit like He does, doesn't he? Like a younger. Yeah. Of course, Mark's doing this. He's one of the most respected uh, refs around here. And, you know, you, you start getting really, really good refs, especially in the playoffs. Uh-oh. Uh oh, get up. It looks like get up, Max. Max uh, need him to run that off. Walk it off, I guess. Uh, he takes it to the goal. Okay, we uh, need to get some momentum going here. We need a score. Need a score. Man, I, I hope, uh, Sherry, I hope the uh, the basket's not closed I on this too, side. I like do it was earlier for yeah. the Broncos. Now, we know it's not closed because I know our Lady Tigers uh, had a great shooting on this half. Nice There's ball Caden. movement finding Caden. Look, he's at three. Dennis open for the three. We, we Caden needed that three. one to regain our confidence from uh, from half. Looks like Max uh, Max is doing fine. Good. Good, good, good. You know Oh. Uh, what? Wow, looks like an offense nice. elbow. Nice. You know, you don't get those calls very you don't often, get a lot but of you're sure calls. thankful for them when you do. Such a subjective call. Back into the Tigers, number 12, Seth Rowan. Give a Max Wicks a break. Yeah. Hopefully he can, he shake, can say, that, yeah. shake that off. Seth's got a big job if he has to defend number 24. Oh, no. Oh, that was, oh, that was close. And you'll see it's a 30-second. And they're going to stand. They're going to stand. I've learned something tonight. Yeah. Usually when they go open hands, they do an open hand signal. That means a full. When they tap their shoulder, it's a 30. Now, do you know how many they... Timeouts they get. They per get five. Game. Five. Yes. So five regular ones and five thirty minutes. Uh, five total. Uh, I'm not sure. It's been years, but I think it's three fulls and two thirties. Okay. Each I think. half. No, I think total. Total. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. 
So we have, uh, we've used two. No, no, we've used, that's our first one, so we have four left. And then okay. Bethany's used two, and they have three left. So you so. have to use those sparingly. Yep. And uh, fouls were one and one, team fouls, and number one for the Broncos, Michael Woolridge. There's got to be a relation. Uh, his the head coach for the Broncos is Quinn Woolridge, Woldridge, sorry, Woldridge. Usually, parents only get to coach their kids in little league. Yep. I was lucky; I got to coach my oldest for one year. That's nice. And uh, it's it's I'm telling you, as a coach and uh, and a player, it's, it's challenging, you know, because you don't want to go home and just talk about yeah you know so there, there's a lot of pluses and minuses to it you know and to the community you're going to seem biased you are going to seem biased so you know coaching your own is probably one of the toughest things look at oh, that did shot you see that what follow through he wheeled that one in there he did i think tigers have a sense of pride this is our house the, yes you're going to have to outwork us to win. Look at that. They just, they can't buy a bucket. They can't get anything to fall. There's Caden with a three. Nice. Wow, he is what on a nice fire. senior night for Caden Dennis. 37 to 10. I'll tell you one thing you have with Caden Dennis is consistency. You do. You know what to expect from him every night. Every night. You know what he's going to give you. Wow. That may be the first three for the Broncos of the night. I think you're right. And uh, and that's in the third quarter with four minutes left. That's halfway into the third quarter. That speaks volumes for our defense. Coach Dickerson and staff. I know they uh, they do a great job of watching film and getting our boys ready. And oh, man, they sweet jumper by Jackson Blunt. Well, you know, you're talking about gym rats earlier. Um, you know, every time I come to the gym to walk, I don't know of a coach that works any harder than Coach Dickerson. Oh, I, yeah, I agree with you. I come down here during the summers and piddle on the softball field. Oh, uh oh, looks well, like Bethany's setting the heat up. Second three pointer of the game. Oh, nice. Nice. nice pump fake to yes. draw the foul. You know, that's smart. They gain another foul and we get two free shots. Number one, 21 is about to check in for the Broncos. And number 13, Max Wicks is checking in for the Tigers. Caden Dennis at the line. Caden Dennis at the line, shooting two. Nice. Number 21, Woods Harrell in for the Broncos. Back in here, Tigers number 13, Max Wicks. Yeah, you know, I think it's so cool is uh, no two free throwers, throwers have the same cadence. They all do something different. Yes. But they do it consistently, and that's their signature. Caden Dennis for the daily double. All right. Caden sinks both shots. And E Dog getting a uh, getting a breather, which is good. You know, I called the NBA, uh, or not the NBA, but the MVP for the girls' game. I don't know who it would be for the boys tonight. They've all worked so hard. Yep. That would be too close of a call to make. Mark does a great job calling that. Went off his foot. You know, I think. You know, the refs have done a great job. Yeah, I don't think they're ever given enough credit. I, I attempted to referee, and that's not easy at all. Oh, yeah. A lot more difficult than it looks. Just can't see it all. You know, and, and, and people, uh, you know, try to think that the refs or umpires have it out for them. You know, they they're, they're out there trying to do yeah. the best they can. They just have a job, too. Yeah. You know, and they're trying to do it to the best of their ability.
Man, Fort Gibson's doing such a great job defending. Oh, you know, uh, Broncos with another There's three. Another three, yeah. three in the it's third quarter. Now, if you're probably wondering how tall Michael Woldridge is, here it says he's six eight. He could be pushing six nine. But I mean, don't see how anyone can uh, block that shot. He reminds me of that character on Rocky. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That came from Russia to find yes. Rocky Balboa. All right, so earlier we asked two trivia questions. Uh oh. There's a fourth three pointer. There's a fourth three pointer, 41 22, we with under two minutes left. Shut them down or answer with the three here. So, Jana Kilpatrick answers the two trivia questions that we had earlier. First one was. Uh, who sang the national anthem? Or, or what band sang the national anthem? By Jackson Blunt. Did Jack, did uh, Jenna get it right? She did. I think one, uh, it was a group called All for One. I think it was 441. 441, four, four, four yeah. Four guys for a purpose. Yes. And it was uh, a former coach here. Was uh, Joel Hill? Joel Hill, he coached yeah. the boys' basketball. Team. Legendary coach, Coach Gary Hendricks, coach good friend of mine. Gary Hendricks. Yeah, just a just a great guy, and of course, uh, we know him as uh, Mr. Wicks. But at one time, he was Coach Wicks. Was okay. yeah, he coached okay. Uh, okay. coach baseball, and I did a little research on the history of softball, and he was also an assistant uh, for a year. I did not know that. Yeah. So, Jana, thank you. And uh, the other trivia question was. Where did Ms. Godwin play college at basketball? And she got that right. She got that right. She too. did. She uh, said you played at NSU, awesome. which is correct. Now, now let's get something right. Uh, Ms. Godwin is indeed a uh, red man, a not red, a river hawk. Not a river hawk. Yeah. No, no. Uh, a lot of former teachers here, or a lot of teachers here, are former red men. Uh, Mike Rowe, which keeps a. Uh, our teacher's lounge in, in Stitches uh, was a red man. And uh, now these younger teachers uh, are Riverhawks. So, so Miss Kilpatrick, great job. And, and we love having Susie here. It's she's, a, she's an awesome asset yeah. to our English department. I think she's uh, one of the first, oh, one of the first uh, hires as a department head, right? Yes. For you. Yes. Good hire. I think Coach Dickerson wants them to slow it down and work yeah. for the last shot. Yeah, with about 10 seconds left. Here in between quarters, we're going to... Oh, oh. Good, 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 good shot take. to draw on yeah. the foul. That's his first team foul number three on the Broncos. Here at break, we're going to pay some bills and thank our sponsors. Blunt to the line shooting two. With 3.5 seconds left, 44 to 25, your Fort Gibson Tigers lead. The Broncos. That's a rare miss from uh, Jackson Blunt. So, if you're familiar with uh, Fort Gibson, Miss Miner and Bo Miner, he played here basketball years ago as well. He just texted me, and I and I hope this is this score is not correct, but. Number one, 4A Classing Girls Basketball, 118 to four. four. What? Yeah, I don't know if that's correct, but man. All right, it's time to pay some bills, and we are going to commercial. Renfro Electric has been in business for over 35 years and is a full-service electrical contractor for all of Oklahoma. We are able to serve our customers with superior craftsmanship and top-notch service. With over 40 employees and a bonding capacity in excess of $6 million, we can handle those larger jobs but are still small enough to provide the personal service our customers have come to expect. For any electrical needs, give us a call at 918-687-7535. This broadcast is brought to you by Cornerstone Funeral Home and Crematory, Keith's Hardware and Supply, Renfro Electric, First Star Bank, 
Ancor Gibson Education Foundation. And we're back. Fort Gibson Tigers. <laughs> if you look at the screen, that's probably why I was getting confused. It still has the Bethany Lady Broncos and Fort Gibson Lady Tigers on the screen. <laughs> threw us there. We yeah, I threw us for a little bit. But that's okay. But we're on our game. We knew that wasn't right. <laughs> All right. So Jackson Blunt throwing Jackson the ball Blunt. in bounds. Near to Caden. Now we're eight minutes from first round victory. Caden Dennis looking to make something happen. Good ball movement. Caden Dennis looking inside. Max Wicks wanting the ball. He got to seal that. He got him sealed that well. Not no more. Had him sealed for there, there a second. Looks like uh, Dickerson is slowing it down, wanting his team to be patient, try to hold on to the lead. Yeah, Bethany came in here, uh, ranked number 18th. 18. 18? Number 18th in the state uh, with an eight and five record. Uh, their losses come to uh, Cassidy and Elgin and 4A. Cassidy, the private school, obviously, and uh, they lost uh, to Newcastle, another 4A school. Um, Elgin, they they have two losses to Elgin. Elgin's number 10 in 4A at the time, and uh, they lost to number 4A 15 uh, John Marshall, 41-44. So it looks like uh, you know just with a lot of teams this year. A lot of teams have missed games due to well, COVID. Well, yeah, and you don't know if those losses were legit or right. several of their starters were out for yeah. COVID. But I guess if one of the players was out, they'd be quarantined. So. Right. So it's, it's just tough to, tough to tell uh, anymore with the records and, and uh, with uh, uh, their wins and losses and I tell you, rankings. I'm, I'm so thankful for the kids that they've gotten to play as much as they have this year, you know, because some schools canceled sports for the year. Yeah. And that would that would be bad if you were a senior. Oh man, that was a tough collision. Oh, that you see that collision? That yeah, guy tough got collision. To yeah, it looks like two are still on the floor. Couple. Max first one to get up. He's tough. Yep. Uh, anyone that says basketball is not a physical sport has never played. Uh, they have not. There have been concussions, uh, broken strains. Oh, there's, yeah, there's all kinds of things that can happen. And I want to give a shout out. We have this uh, movie club. We're known as the Lost Boys. And uh, coaches and administrators. Uh, but, but we know him as uh, Coach Wiley, but he's the godfather knowledge of all movies so if you ever want to try to stump somebody on movies and movie knowledge the basketball coach or the football coach the football coach, okay. coach yeah the football coach i think he's seen has seen every movie known to mankind seriously oh you, you can't stump him you cannot stump him knows actors knows Man, uh, lines that's, that's, it's that's yeah talent yeah Oh, nice Lord, pass nice look, by nice. Max look at Wicks. that right look there. Look at that unselfish play. Get it. Well, I was wanting E-Dog to get the rebound while he's lying there on the ground. <laughs> on the floor. I'll tell you, when these boys go to bed tonight, they'll know they have played a game. Another. Oh. Offensive rebound by Bethany. Man. Bethany's Good just rebound. off today. Good rebound by Jackson Blunt there. An another another player, another player you know that you're going to get consistency Consistency from. and the energy, the attitude, the effort is, is Jackson Blunt. Mm. 
coming on five minutes with a 19 point lead. You math teachers don't get too excited. I have to use my calculator for that one. <laughs> not, carry <Carrie>, not. <laughs> Oh, oh man, a Al almost 21. a turnover, 21 saves it, but saves it right back to the uh, Tigers. A lot of good tough pressure defense by number five, Luke O'Neill, senior guard, 6'3", for the Broncos. Number five, Luke O'Neill, his first team foul, number five. Has number twelve? Has he been in there tonight? I don't. Uh, he just he just he just went Grayson in. I think this Ritter. is the first time. Yeah. He's a junior. He's a junior guard, five nine, and uh, a new kid had just checked in, or a new player, uh, senior Zane Wright, guard, little six footer from for Bethany Broncos. Is that number zero? zero. Yeah. He doesn't look six foot. Well, he may look six foot compared to the six eight and six well, six. That's right. There. That's true. Good point. Oh. Okay, now, a little bit of a touch foul there. Yeah. Like we were talking earlier, you want to let him play, but I guess when you do that, maybe it gets out yeah. of hand. You know, it's just it's just like, you know, softball and baseball. You have people yelling from, you know, the home plate umpire uh, from the stands, and I'm just like, you know, you're 100 feet away. True. You know? True that. So they may see, obviously, they're going to get a better view of it. But I think that goes back to the point that you made about having two and three refs. I think when you have three refs, uh, you see a lot more. Yeah, another set of eyes. Yeah. But then you have to pay another ref. <laughs> <laughs> and there you go. Look at that three. Oh, sweet. Like I said, Coach Dickerson has to be pleased with the play of his. Of a sophomore guard. Sophomore guard. All players tonight, actually. Yeah. You know, looking looking at uh, Bethany's lineup and looking at our lineup, we have one player, E Dog, uh, over six foot, six four. And we look at Bethany; they have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine players. You know, over six one. <laughs> Yeah, just looking on the on the paper, you would yeah. not have thought that there would be. I mean, they start almost a, a twenty-point deficit. Oh yeah, they they started six, seven, six, eight, six, three, and six, Good three. <laughs> Bethany still battling it out to the end. Number twenty, Caleb Palmer. Rebound there by Max Wicks. Oh, almost with a mid-range jumper. I thought that one was going to fall. Kind of rimmed in and out. Look at E-Dog playing good defense. <laughs> Wooldridge with an easy two. to time out Bethany for a 30 second. So 17 point deficit. I want to go ahead and thank some of our sponsors real quick here. Um, Cornerstone Funeral Home and Crematory, Keys Hardware and Supply, Renfro Electric, First Star Bank, and Port Gibson Education Association. I want to thank you for your uh, support this entire season. Yeah, we can't do it without the sponsorship of we just have great support, great community support here at Fort Gibson. You know, and it speaks volumes every time we have a bond that needs to be passed. You yeah. know, they're so, the community is so supportive. And that, you know, as a teacher, I'm so appreciative of that. Yeah. Like I said, it goes, it, it, it just goes beyond, it goes into the classroom to our students. It's just uh, really good. Well, I don't know what uh, Bethany has. If maybe they've brought in secret weapons here to shoot threes. Well, but it looks like they're doing a press, whereas they yeah. haven't to this point. Yeah. Wow, it's getting physical. Ooh. It's getting real yeah, it looks physical. Looks like they've got a, a smaller lineup in there. Maybe, maybe yeah. going for quickness. Oh, 
Who gets called for a foul. Who is this number 20? Caleb Palmer, Jr. A 6'2". Yeah, the 6'2 players look small compared to the 6'8". <laughs> yeah. So that's Jackson. Looks like that's Jackson's first foul. Are It'll you be the serious? Put the e dog in there for the rebound. It is our fifth, or it should be a third team foul. Oh man, can't miss those. But an offensive rebound by the Broncos. Number five with the deep three. Luke O'Neill, senior guard, six three. So now we're down to a 14 point deficit. And they are pressing. Oh, it's a full timeout, so they're going to sit. Yep. For, with Dickerson's upset that. Uh, he's up. That's we're going to a uh, full timeout where the uh, lady. Bronco cheerleaders are coming out and our Lady Tiger cheerleading squad coming out. You know, speaking of our cheerleading squad, uh, Miss Adney, uh, awesome counselor, and uh, Miss Bethel. Uh, I think this is their first year to do cheer. And the girls have done a great job. They've done a great job. So I'd like to give a shout out to our cheerleading uh, coaches and team. Yeah, a lot of times the cheerleaders go unnoticed, but they're here every day, every not every day, but every game, cheering their hearts out. Yep, they put in a lot of work. And congratulations, Sherry, uh, getting your master's in counseling. Well, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. That was a lot of work, but well worth it. Yeah. One day when, uh, when the Lord calls you out of the classroom, going to do an amazing job with the counselor. Well, thank you. I'm looking forward to that. Wow. Bethany's applying a lot of pressure, full court pressure. We can just break this press. Uh, so it we, looks like we did. We get it across. and Now it's just, uh, now we're trying to kill time. We have a minute 45. They get, call a quick foul. Well, they fouled a good one because he uh, he's a good free throw shooter. Yeah. So it's team foul number oh, six for they're Bethany. they're not in the yep. one and one yet. Okay. So next one will be our bonus. We'll be in a bonus on our seventh on the seventh team foul. So it'll be a one and one situation. I think they're putting the pressure now. Going on five out. There he is with a quick foul with a minute thirty left. So this is a one and one. Now this is where free throw free throws matter. They always have, you know, it wins and loses ball games. But right now this is a big, big free throw. <laughs> when I was a kid playing, you know, shooting in the driveway, I'd be like, okay, it's the fourth quarter and we've got 30 seconds left. We're one point behind. Yeah. Did you do that? Oh yeah. <laughs> I think I think any athlete that's ever played a game is the you know three two one you know three yeah, yeah. uh oh okay comes with an eleven, 11 points. points okay good okay did you hear Coach Dickerson we need to make this free throw we need to make this free throw but yeah if anyone can handle the pressure of something like that being placed on him it's I Jackson think, Blood yep, I think Jackson they must have not done their scouting report because that's probably not the one I want to foul. One time I was in a similar situation and my coach called timeout, or the other coach called timeout, and my coach said, okay, now after Sherry makes these two shots, I'm like, oh, he's got that much confidence yeah. in me. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Like I said, so he's, he's got ice in his veins, Jackson yep. Blunt. So that uh, that's still a four-possession game with a 12-point lead. This right here is huge because it would be a five-possession game. Tough to win five possessions. So that takes the Tigers to a five possession lead. That's uh that's hitting threes. Oh, number twenty I guess number twenty is in there to hit threes. Mercy they don't me. want to foul I think him. I would have had him on the court earlier, but yeah, they didn't. 
respect. So now it's a ten now it's a ten point game. Ten point game. I'll tell you that ten point swing. Yep. Oh, that's scary because yep. that can They're happen back to easily. A, and see that's another guy you don't want to foul is Edwards. You know, he's a big free throw. Yeah, but I wish they would. They better get across it. Timeout Tigers. Great. So it's a full timeout for the Tigers, leaving them with one timeout left and two timeout for you know, the Bethany Broncos. I was talking about Jackson being a good leader on the court. How did he know they have that timeout to give? Because what happens if someone calls a timeout and you don't and you don't actually have one? Is that a technical? It is a technical. One of the most famous technicals happened uh, with the Michigan Wolverines, Chris Weber. I think it was I in the Final that. Four. I remember that. Now. There was a, they were known as a Fab Five. Yes. Man, they were fun to watch. They were fun to watch. They, they were the ones that, uh, they did a 30 for 30 on ESPN with them, and they were the ones that kind of changed the culture to the long baggy shorts and, you know, wearing the short socks. And so now we're back to short shorts, you know. So it's just funny how times change. But, yeah, Chris Weber had a uh, timeout, resulted in a uh, technical. Don't you know he uh, beat himself up about that? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Probably still has nightmares about it. But, you know, I wouldn't mind having nightmares as long as I'm still getting paid millions, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right, so inbounds with uh, 53.5 seconds left for the Tigers. Rowan inbounding. Looks like Wicks is sitting down. So they're going to foul yeah. Edwards. Edwards is like, foul me. <laughs> yeah. Make my day. Yeah. So that's probably what uh, Coach Dickerson no, was saying in the, during the timeout is, hey, make sure that it goes in Edwards and Jackson's, Jackson and Edwards' hands. And now uh, Max comes in for Rowan. I feel it's a little offense-defensive switch. Two big free throws. Oh, big miss. Here we go with 46 seconds left. Oh, surprised he. There's another three. Oh, he misses finally. finally. Got cold. We needed him to get yeah. cold. Quick foul on number five on Caden Dennis. Dickerson almost broke out into a dance there. <laughs> That's his third personal. Now it's 10 fouls on Bethany, so that is a double bonus. Now we're shooting two. So for the next 36.5 seconds, our Fort Gibson Tigers shoot through on every, shoot two on every foul committed by the Broncos. Oh, my goodness. Oh we man. need these free throws. That's how big these are. I'm just going to go on a limb here and say that they're probably going to be shooting free throws tomorrow. I'm thinking. <laughs> For a good while. For a good while, so. All right. Deep three by number five. Good rebound by Ethan Briggs. Uh, yep, there he goes. I put it in Jackson's hands, make sure they foul him. <laughs> Ball. It's like a hot potato. All right. Mm, this is getting there we go. close. So now they're up nine. We're up nine with 16 seconds remaining. I want to take one last opportunity to you thank bet. our sponsors. Cornerstone Fear Home and Crematory, Keys Hardware and Supply, Renfro Electric, First Star Bank, and Port Gibson Education Association. Thank you for your support. Well, just like any coach, still coaching to the very last second, even with a nine-point lead, nothing is safe. But just like anything, the uh, the percentage of winning, percentage of winning goes up as time goes down. That's a good deduction. Coach Dickerson. Just giving him the final instructions, hey, finish the game. And that's what we that's what we need here. 
we need to finish the game. That's right. Another uh, shout out if uh, we look to the east, to the visiting side of the uh, uh, goal is the baseball team. They do a baseball program, stays around after the game and cleans up the program, which I think is pretty neat. And they do a good job of cleaning the gym. They do. Yeah, it's, it's just taking pride in our facilities. So Coach Edwards, Coach Dixon, Coach Talbert, baseball boys. Good job, Seth thanks. Two. All right, Seth at the line shooting two. Again, 15 like seconds said, left. Two big free throws here. Nice. There you go. Nice. So now we now it's a four possession game. Before it was just three, but with that one free throw made. Another good, good Look free throw. Ice in his veins. Just shot it like it was nothing. All right. 52-43. Four seconds left. Sherry, I'm just going to go on a limb here and say we got this one sewn up. Well, I think you'd be safe <laughs> in saying that. <laughs> I just want to uh, thank Tiger Vision, Ms. Parisoto, all the students who made this happen, and uh, Mr. Wicks. Sherry had a great time I did doing too. that. I'm going to say we're the good luck charm for uh, the Lady Tigers. I think so. Any final words? Um, I just wish our teams all the luck in regional play. And yep. congratulations on both teams being district champs. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for joining us on Tiger Vision. And we'll see you next time. All right. Adios.